I've been working with Unreal and Blender for a while and one thing that always frustrated me was making characters. I think creating 3D characters or even stylized 3D characters is one of the hardest parts of game development. You start with sculpting and then you have got UV unwrapping, rigging, skin weights and that's even before you start thinking about clothes and hair. But guess what? The pain is gone now because we have got something that is seriously powerful and can and change the whole process and it's called character creator 5 and honestly it's one of the easiest and fastest ways to create characters for animations cinematics and video games now before we dive in quick shout out to reallusion for sponsoring this video they hooked me up with character creator 5 which was officially released this august and I'll tell you right now, Character Creator 5 genuinely feels like a huge step up in the character creation process. So let's dive right in and see what it can actually do. Alright, the first thing we have here is Reallusion Hub. This is where you can have access to the software from Reallusion, including iClone for creating animations, Character Creator for making characters, and also Cartoon Animator. You also have access to all of the plugins that you can use for different scenarios. For example, we have these auto setup systems that enable us to create a seamless workflow between these software here and the game engine or the 3D package that you want to use. For example, we have this Unreal auto setup, which enables us to move assets easily between CC5 and Unreal. We have the same for Unity, for Maya, for ZBrush and Blender and these help us to create a very fast and easy workflow. Next we have the Marketplace which is a very huge marketplace for grabbing assets and you always can find something here for your project. So make sure you check the Marketplace as well. And now let's open up Character Creator and see what we have. All right, here we are in CC5 and now let's start creating something. The cool thing here is that the process is very simple and straightforward. All you need to do is to add a base to your project and then start editing and creating what you want. So here in the Contents tab, we have access to a lot of packs that come with CC5. For example, we have this CC5 characters pack here. So let's open it up. And here, as you can see, we have these characters that we can use for starting our work. So for example, let's go with Aaron here. All you need to do is to drag it and drop it into your viewport. And here we go. Now we have a very high quality character here. And as you can see, it has a lot of details. The skin looks amazing. The hair and all the other aspects of the character are looking awesome. Now the cool stuff starts from here. We can start editing the character and basically do whatever we want with it. So here I'm going to enable morph and here as you can see I can select the different parts of the character and by dragging the mouse I'm able to change it like this. You can also select the part that you want to work with, go to edit. and here play with these sliders here so here we can do anything we want we can even create asymmetrical faces by playing with these we can for example play with these other controllers here and as you can see everything is adjustable with a couple of sliders so here in the left you can see that all of the parts of the body are 
editable and you can basically do whatever you want with your characters here <laughs> let's uh, go with for example something like this and obviously you can do the same with the body and the cool thing here is that when you play with the body the clothes adjust based on the body so if we make him fat let's go for the body make him big and as you can see the clothes is adjusted based on the body we have different body styles for example we can make him old we can make him muscular we can make him thin and we can also make him like this which looks very cool and yeah we have a hulk now great uh, let's put this back and make him normal and then you can also play with the clothes as well you can easily select the clothes hit delete edit the body or you can even go to your contents go to your items and change the clothes so let's go with another shirt for example here we have these shirts we can download whatever we like and just drag and drop this on the character we can do the same for the pants for the accessories for the shoes and again the character will adjust based on the clothes so for example if we delete these shoes oops i deleted the character itself let's hit ctrl z yeah let's delete the shoes then for example let's choose a high heel and here as you can see the shape of the foot is changed based on the shoe here so this is very awesome and makes things much easier and much faster when you want to edit your character here let's uh, remove the high heels and give him normal shoes like this and now the next thing i want to talk about is a very cool option of cc5 and it's called actor mixer using this we are able to mix between different characters and create something in between which is a very fast and very efficient way to create variation for your characters so here let's start the process and see what we can create with actor mixer so here as you can see we have these different characters and we have the base which is aaron and now we are able to mix these characters with each other so here as you can see when i drag my slider towards this guy here you can see that we have a mix between the base and this goblin here or you can go with these go with this and easily create variations for your project and you don't need to change all the body parts and the head parts one by one you can just create a mix between two characters and create something awesome you can do that for the whole character or you can just do it for different parts separately for example you can do this only for the head and obviously you can choose the options from the content browser as well so for example you can add something to the base hit start mixing and mix with that and now we have this handsome guy here great and now let's get out of actor mixer 
and create a facial expression for our beautiful character so here we are able to change the facial expressions and play with that as well so here in edit facial you can select different parts and change them easily like this so we have different muscles and by selecting them and dragging them like this you are able to create these movements for the face so yep let's give him a beautiful smile and <laughs> let's uh, make him angry at the same time so maybe we can use the muscles in the eyebrows maybe we can do this or yep something like this and yeah this is how you can change the different parts of the face give him different looks and you can even control the tongue like this you can also use these expression styles as well so here we have a lot of different expressions we have different categories for example in happy we have this we can make him happy with only one click we can also exaggerate the expressiveness as well we can make him angry and here as you can see using this we are able to create a very wide variety for the facial expression or let's make him sad and see how it looks yeah great let's go with the happy one make him very very happy and keep him like this yeah great now we can also assign a pose or an animation to the whole character as well so here we can go with these default animations here and now as you can see we have our character with the animation as well let's try something else for example let's go with a female posing and yeah this is our character with this animation here cool and yep that's it this is how you can create your character then assign a pose or an animation and using this process you are able to create different characters very fast with a very high quality so now finally let's talk about how we can use our characters inside unreal actually the process is very simple after you finished your character all you need to do is to export an fbx and you don't need to change anything just set the preset to ue5 and you are ready to go this is a character that i made earlier and using the auto setup for unreal and also an fbx export i was able to import it into unreal with only a couple of clicks and this is how it looks in unreal the good thing is that it's using ue5 skeleton so you are able to easily retarget the animations and assign whatever animation you have in your project here as you can see i assigned one of the animations that i made with control rig and it is working seamlessly 
Here we have a couple of problems with the clothes, but it's easily fixable. You just need to make the clothes a little bigger and make it fit better. And that's it. This is all you need to do for having a high quality, awesome character in your Unreal projects. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you find it useful, you can check out the link in the description, check out Reallusion CC5 and implement the software in your project. I think it makes a lot of difference and it is completely worth a try. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.